For Joe eating a hamburger. I love these little burgers. <laughs> that doesn't trouble you. You eat too many of them. Tell me, I'm a very light eater. Yeah, exactly. As soon as it gets light, you start eating. Let me see. Pull your stomach in. It is in. Let's go. <laughs> the program. Now, my final guests tonight are great personal favorites of mine. They're a great team, they're great pals, and they're about to give you a great big laugh. So I'm very pleased to welcome Cannon and Ball. <laughs> Really, yes. and, and I mean, just before we start the, the, the interview as such, can I just say... I just want to say this. Hang on, Gloria, I want to say this. <laughs> Gloria, do you know you're my Auntie Lily's dream entertainer? A dream entertainer? I, that sounds really rather good to me. Yes, because every time you're on telly, she falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Behave yourself right. Well, I'm not to insult our horse like that. It's not polite. Come on, Tommy, look at her. <laughs> She loves it, don't you, Glow? Oh. I'm on it, Glow. You little belcher. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Glow. She's very true, this. <laughs> don't mind me calling you, Glow. Don't talk about me. Oh, Glow, Glow. You've got to take the joke because... Look at Tommy. <laughs> He's happy today, aren't you? Last week he made a fortune, him. Took his empties back. <laughs> Why don't you stop twanging your braces and belt up? It's only a joke, Tommy. I thought this would not be sure. It's only a joke. You were saying, Gloria. Well, actually, Tom, what I was trying to say is that the two of you must be so well-known all over the place. It must be very difficult to go anywhere without being recognised. Well, yeah, we are a well-known team. I mean, easily recognisable, uh, on the account that I'm tall and slim. And he's small and chubby. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where? Uh, do you know what they call us back at the studio? Yeah. Dempsey and small piece. <laughs> small, small. <laughs> you know where I found him last week at the Graham races. <laughs> he was riding the winner. <laughs> You were Bobby's weight. Uh, when the dog passed the winning post, it collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know uh, what his initials stand for, BB? <laughs> Be a belly. <laughs> oh, come on, Bobby, it is funny. It's very funny. Mm. Very funny. You're funny tonight, you I Tom. thought, yeah. It's scrutinly funny. <laughs> oh, come on, you're not annoyed, are you, pal? No, I'm not annoyed. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for tonight. Obviously, many thanks to the boys. I really did enjoy talking to them. So, from us, it is goodnight, particularly from uh, Talkative Tommy and little Bouncy Bobby. By the way, Gloria, we've got a new name now, you know. Gabby and Flabby. Gabby and Flabby. I'm counting up all up myself. Good night. Hey, I tell you what. I'm a funny one, tell this afternoon. Hey, I made you laugh, didn't I, Bobby? Come on, you like a good laugh, don't you? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's all right. I know what it is. I know. <laughs> You didn't like me making jokes about you being small and slightly chubby. Not slightly chubby, Tommy. I'm pleasingly plump. 
Well, it doesn't please me, Bobby, to see you pleasingly plump. I mean, look at me. Slim, tall, good looking. Boy, I'm good looking. And look at you, eh? Look at your backside. Look, it's just stupid. How can I look at my backside? I have to bend over backwards to look at my backside. You were pathetic. You know that. You make me sick. Boy, I'm good looking. Boy, look at me. You make me sick. I'm going to warm it up with some pot noodles. Just listen to me, you. And this is for your own good, right? You're overwrought because you're overweight. And what? You're overwrought because you're overweight. That's what's wrong. <laughs> How can you sit there and say that to me? I'm overweight. Tommy, I'll tell you something. I'm a fine figure of a man for my age. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I've got muscles in all the right places. I look fantastic, me, I'll tell you. Look at me, I look fantastic. <laughs> You're right, Tommy. Not good, is it? No, I need to diet. I need to diet, me, Tommy Altice. Do you know something? I've just looked at myself in there. With this on, I look like a big oven glove. <laughs> I'm going on a rigid diet. A rigid diet, me, from now on. That's great. And I'll help you to stick to it. Hey, Tom, no matter how much I complain, make sure I stick to it, no matter how much I complain. I will, I promise you, I will. Hey, I'm not being a junk food junkie anymore. No more Kentucky Colonels for me, Tom. <laughs> hey, goodbye, Captain Bird's Eye. <laughs> and I'm giving Big Mac the sack. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. You're really determined. I can see that. Determined? Mm. I'm determined. I'm doubly determined. Yeah. Doubly determined. Rigid diet, me. A rigid diet. Starting first thing in the morning, I'm on a rigid diet. <laughs> well, you've got to help me, Tom. You've got to help me. <laughs> Please, Tommy, help me. Put the good boy. I want to read this guy. My wife's there. I'm going up there. <laughs> oh, my stomach. Morning. Morning, Tom. Morning, morning. <laughs> I was just looking for some cat food, Tom. Some cat food. <laughs> That's funny, we haven't got a cat. No, but I'm just thinking of getting one, you know, I'm thinking of getting one. How's the diet going, then? Tommy, it's absolutely horrendous. It's awful. All I can think about is food. Food. Just think about food, food. Oh, food. How long have you been on the diet now? Ooh, about three hours. <laughs> well, you'll get used to it, Bobby. Just keep repeating to yourself, eat less food, lose more weight, cut out junk, and you'll feel great. Eat less food, lose more weight, cut out junk, and you'll feel great. Yeah, see what I mean? It's a piece of cake. I... <laughs> Why'd you do that, then? I'm left up with hunger. I'm all right. Would you like something before lunch? Yes, please, breakfast. <laughs> Past 11, Tommy. Tom, mm. can we have an early lunch? Yeah, of course we can. You know why, pal? Because I'm peckish myself. Are you? Yeah. Oh, great. What's with me and me up? TV dinner. Oh, what? Oh, I made hey. it. Mm. <laughs> me? Potatoes? Yeah. Green peas? Oh, yeah. Carrots? Oh, yeah, yeah. All covered? Oh, yeah. In gravy. <laughs> oh, that sounds absolutely divine, Tom. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, that's for me. <laughs> I'm on a diet. This is yours. Yeah. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> what the hell's that? It's your diet dinner. I hope you find it to your satisfaction. Find it? I can't even pick and see it. <laughs> what are them supposed to be? Chickpeas. <laughs> you like peas, don't you? 
Yes, I love these, Tom, but not little light brown ones. <laughs> I like them green mushy ones that are surrounded by a big chop with <laughs> chips and a big mound of sprouts that's covered in gravy. All cut running offside at plate. <laughs> well, you can't have it. Right? Get the peas down your stomach. They don't belong in my stomach, they're with a big in pea shooter. <laughs> and what of that? That's watercress. I mean, I admit it, it does look like grass. Yes, it does. I'm a human being, me, not a cow. Right? <laughs> I want to eat, not pig in greys. I'm starving, mate, Tommy. I'm starving. Listen to me. I'm listening to you. Please, just give me... Just give me a little taste. <laughs> just a little taste. I'll give you a carrot and two quid. <laughs> Let me try to explain something to you. Right? Give us some. I've got my dinner. You've got yours. <laughs> right? Now, think yourself lucky that you're on a diet. Otherwise, you'd be forced in eating all this fattening food, wouldn't you? You wouldn't like that, would you? Of course you wouldn't like it. <laughs> You're right, Tommy. Hey? What You're you right. Yeah. If you said this is good for me, it's going to be good because you got it. So if it's good, it's going to be good because you got it. So it's got it, it's good, it's got it. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I think I've broken a tooth. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, did you hear that bang? Number, right? Yep. Okay. okay. So. Bobby! Bobby! Come on, raise it. We're waiting to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Ray. Are you all right? Do I look all right? <laughs> no, I don't. I think my nutrition set it in. <laughs> my nutrition set it in. Take a notice of him, Ray. <laughs> Been on a diet for a couple of days, that's all he can't eat. I can't sleep either. <laughs> you know, I was awake all night last night for almost two hours. Mm. <laughs> you want another diet pill? Yeah, can you put it between two slices of bread? <laughs> I'll tell you something, Ray. I feel dizzy, me. 
I'm going to have to lie down, Tommy. You're not going to lie down. Right, we've got to rehearse the opening number, right? Oh, no. Now, come on, hit it, Bobby. Song? Bobby, it's only a song. To you, it's a song, Tommy. To me, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I'm fed up with being unfed. All right, look. Keep at it. You're doing well. Keep repeating to yourself, right? What? Eat less food. Lose more weight. Cut Eat out junk, junk and you feel, feel great. great. <laughs> You're already good. <laughs> Tell you what we'll do. What? The Cockney number. Cockney number? Yeah. OK, Tom. <laughs> Beef and carrots. Tom, I'll have to sit down. Ray, I'm sorry, pal. Go and get yourself a cup of tea, right? Thanks, Tom. His empty stomach's gone to his head. <laughs> I'm empty all over, Tommy. Come on, will you? Stick with it. Another couple of days, right? Hey, and your figure will be in great shape. I hope so, Tommy. I hope so. <laughs> Keep me at it. Keep me at it, pal. I will. But you've got to promise me one little thing. Anything, Tom. You stop hiding food all over the house. <laughs> I haven't. Yes, you did. I haven't. I haven't. Yes, you did. I haven't. I haven't. Yes, you did. I haven't. Yes, you did. Well, I haven't. I have. No, I haven't. All right, then. What about the French loaf in your guitar case? <laughs> <laughs> Three sausage rolls inside the piano lid. <laughs> and a tin of rice pudding in the washing machine. <laughs> the devil made me do it, Tom. He came to me and promised me things. <laughs> I'll not do it again, Tom. I promise I'll never do that again. Great. Tell you what I'll do. I'll make a nice cup of tea. Thanks, Tommy. Five sugars. Sugars? <laughs> On a diet! Sugars? the golf club dinner. Right. And by the way, you can't go in the fridge either. I put a chain and a padlock on it. <laughs> well, that's very inventive of you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> and your supper, by the way, is in the kitchen. In the, in the kitchen, right? Chickpeas. Well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be off, pal. Tommy. Hmm? You've been out every night this week. Of course I have. I've got regular functions every day. So have I since I've been on them jig peas. I'm off, pal, all right. Happy dieting. Ta -da. Ta -da. I'm trying to break in the flaming fridge. <laughs> you told me you were on a rigid diet. Stuff the diet. <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Bobby. Yes, and I'm disappearing, Tommy. <laughs> the want of a meat pie. <laughs> That's no good, is it? What? I'm going to have to get my blowtorch. Where's my blowtorch? <laughs> What are you talking about? Put me blowtorch. I haven't seen it. This is your fault. This is your fault. My fault? Blimey. I only tried to help you to lose weight. Yeah, but I've had time to think since I've stopped eating, Tommy. I'm me. I'm me. Cuggly Bobby. <laughs> Cuggly Bobby. I 
Tommy, girls don't seem to mind me like this. My pals, my real pals, don't seem to mind me like this. And my Auntie Lily loves me like this. <laughs> you must remember, Tommy, you are what you are. We're all what we are. I am what I am. <laughs> Blimey, I get the point. I know the song. Yes. You must remember this, Tom. None of us are physically perfect. Mm. None of us. No. I mean, I'm not as slim as I'd like to be, right? I'm not as tall as I'd like to be. Mm. But what you see here is the bona fide Roberto Balto. <laughs> does this mean that you're coming off the diet? Yes, it does. I'm coming right off it. I've got a new dictum now. <laughs> Another victim. It won't bother me if everybody takes a mickey out of me being short and fat. You'll never hear me complain, never again. Good. Because we've been booked to do the Glory Honeyford show again next Sunday. <laughs> Did it last Sunday? Yeah, it's a return match, this. They thought we were really funny. Well, especially me. <laughs> but, you know, so we've been, <laughs> we've been booked to do it again. So I suppose you're going to be in there, aren't you, Papa? Taking the mickey out of me being short and fat again. Well, yeah, I mean, I had a few stored up for you, didn't I? Yeah. Blimey, I need to get mad. Only a joke. I'll not get mad, Tom. The only thing I'll get mad at is if I don't get something to eat soon. Damn it, please! Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese to that bad lot? Please! Where's the cheese to the bad lot? Do you mean the key to the fridge? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Please! Why are you panicking like this? I'm panicking, Why please! Why are you panicking? <laughs> eh? What do you mean? Have you forgot about the French loaf you hid in my golf bag? <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you! I forgot all about it. Up on bread top. <laughs> whoa, 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 hang on then. Give us a bit of bread. I like bread as well. You know what? It's a bit of bread. <laughs> well, you're right, you've got to have a share. Welcome to another Sunday Sunday. Now, my first guests tonight make a very speedy return, very much because I thought they were just very, very funny last Sunday. So I'm very pleased to welcome back the very handsome Tommy Cannon and his little short, fat, overweight friend, Bobby Ball. <laughs> 